Hey guys, what's up? Howard Kingston here. Hope you're amazing. How do I have great ideas? So I hear that question all the time. And hey, I have experienced it as well. So I have students, I have entrepreneurs coming up and saying, hey, I'm thinking of launching this business. What do you think about this idea? Is it good enough? Or marketers launching a campaign. Is this idea good enough? And guys, I totally get it. I've been in that experience. That that uh, position before and I remember when I was l thinking about launching a business a few years ago I had two ideas and I was like which one is the best idea well first I just want to talk about that today and I want to talk about how you can have great ideas almost like foolproof way to have great ideas <laughs> First thing I need to talk about is talk about a myth the what is not true because everyone has this idea I think like I think everyone has this idea and it's I know where it comes from it comes from the media right these amazing stories of these founders who come up with these great ideas and make lots of money um, but the reality is it's not like that right it's it's not the way the media makes it out right and my favorite story of this is the story of this little startup called bourbon bourbon was launched a few years ago in the us and this guy kevin had this idea for a app and essentially it was like you check in uh, you check in to a location it was like a location check in app and whenever you checked in somewhere it told all your friends you were in that location and then you could come and hang out in that area, right, with them, right? And there's lots of different apps out there like that. You've probably heard of some yourself. Uh, one of the biggest famous ones was Foursquare, right? And at this point, when Kevin was launching his app, Foursquare was already on the market, hundreds of millions of users, all right? But Kevin's idea was like, well, listen, I'm going to do something like that, but I'm going to have lots of features attached to it. So in Bourbon, his idea would be you could check into a location and you could, you know, buy virtual items there and you could send virtual items to people and you could, um, you know, take a photo of things and put a filter on it and loads of stuff like that. And this was the idea of Bourbon, right? Now, there was a problem, all right? A few months in, Kevin found that he didn't have many customers, right? He had only a couple of thousand customers and he started running out of money. Now, in an entrepreneur's world, that's called running out of runway. And when you run out of runway, it's like an aircraft taking off. If you run out of air, if you run out of runway, it means you run out of money and uh, that's not a good place to be as an entrepreneur, all right? So anyway, so Kevin and he had a colleague, Mike, at this point, and the two of them, knew that they only had a few months left of runway and their investors were coming in to have a chat with them about their strategy. So they spent the whole weekend uh, as they were planning this this meeting with their investors, they spent a whole weekend brainstorming like what what do we do? What's the right way forward for bourbon? And like they went out and spoke to some customers and they tried to figure out what was going on, what was working and what was not working. Now, one thing that Kevin did was he jumped into the data and looked at the analytics and he found that something really interesting. He found that the users were not using all the parts of the product, but they were using one part a lot like hyper usage so the couple of thousand users that were using the product were using this one feature time and time again and it was the ability to take a photo and put a funky filter on it right and they weren't oh interesting that was like you know just a bit of a throwaway uh feature they put into it anyway they spent the next day or two putting together this strategy and at the end of the weekend they decided they had this new strategy chosen and it included a pivot. Now a pivot, those of you who follow the world of like lean startup methodology and stuff will know, it comes from the world of basketball. Think of a basketball player running down the court and the way they, they change direction is they keep one foot on the ground and then they change direction, okay? And that's called a pivot. Now, in this case, they decided to pivot their strategy. So they decided to change direction in a lot of stuff. They removed a lot of the features uh, that people weren't using. And they decided to hone in on that one feature that they, uh, people were using the most. The ability to take a photo and put a funky filter on it.
all right? And they removed everything else, even the ability to check into a location, which was the whole point of Bourbon in the first place. And guess what? They also decided to change the name, and they changed the name to Instagram, okay? So Bourbon became Instagram, and I think you know what happened next. It went down pretty well. What is the point of this story? The point of this story is the myth most people know or think about is that they think Instagram was thought of by these founders in the shower. They get this message in their head of this great idea. It's not that way. It's never that way. The reason, the way you come up with great ideas is by coming up with an idea, as good as you can make it, sure, an idea, but then doing something with it. Imagine if Kevin had not launched Instagram as bourbon. You know, obviously he didn't know it was going to change into Instagram. He just launched it as bourbon. And it was a really bad, it's actually a bad idea. It was a bad idea, but he thought at the time it was, it was okay. So really, the lesson I want to talk, I want to talk about three quick lessons here. One, you got to just start. Don't worry about your uh, idea be perfect because it's not going to be perfect. It's impossible to get an idea perfect at launch. All right. And actually, I would actually say it's detrimental to your success to try and make it perfect. Now, some of you might kind of feel like, oh, I like it to be as good as possible. But think of this. There's a famous saying in Silicon Valley from Reid Hoffman, who's the founder of LinkedIn. And he famously says that if you haven't launched the first version of your product early enough that you are embarrassed about it, so you should actually be embarrassed by your first version of your product. If you haven't, it means that you haven't launched it early enough. You've waited too long. So just think about that. The founder of LinkedIn telling you that, and it's exactly the, the point uh, that happened. Think about it, that's what happened with Instagram. So point one is launch it early. Point two, is realize that the reason you're not launching it yet, you just gotta name it, guys. The reason you haven't is because you're afraid. You're afraid of what people think. You're afraid it's not good enough. And you gotta just name that beast, and it's fear. So you gotta just be prepared to get it out there, get early feedback, and then make it better over time. That's what Bourbon and Instagram did. And finally, guys, the third little point here is if you're finding it's too much pressure, you go, oh, how do I come up with this great idea? Just what I always love to think about things is whenever I'm launching something new, whenever I'm changing career, whenever I'm launching a new product, rather than thinking this is my new career, you know, kind of direction for life, which feels a lot of pressure. Oh God, I better get this right. What if you just thought about it as an experiment and you go, you know what? I think right now, based on all my, you know, data and my, my thoughts and my ideas, I think this is a good idea right now. So I'm going to tr experiment and I'm going to run an experiment for the next 90 days. And let's see at the end of the 90 days how it goes. So let's say you're deciding to launch a business. All right. What if you decide to go, okay, I think this is a good idea. I'm going to go for it for 90 days. And then let's see at the end, end of the 90 days how it goes. And then at the end of the 90 days, I'll either know this is, I get some data in, this is either going well and I'll continue it, or I might decide I hate it or it sucks and I'll stop it. And the nice thing about an experiment is that, guess what? You're in a win-win. Because an experiment every single way, you're going to learn something, aren't you? So even if it doesn't go well, you've learned that this was not the right idea for you. Great. And then you come up with another experiment. And if you just keep on running those 90 days experiments, what will happen is you'll effectively make your own look because some, some of those experiments will go well. Okay, so guys, what I've just been sharing is how to come up with good ideas. I've really dispelled the myth and talked to you about how Instagram came about and it worked out pretty good for them. And I talked about those three top tips. Okay, so guys, if you found this useful, please hit a like or share this message with someone that you think is launching something that needs to hear this now as well so we can help as many people out there. All right, this is Howard zooming out from Growth Velocity Academy. Peace out and uh, have a great one.